Hello guys and welcome back to another video here on the Quanta SMP server. And would you believe it, we're out here in the desert. That's for one simple reason only. We need to build ourselves an aquarium back at the base. But for that, I need a lot more glass because I really only have about a stack left. So I think we need to go ahead and start mining this desert out and grabbing ourselves as many resources as possible. Now, unfortunately, there is no replay mod, so we're just going to skip right back to our base. And now I've managed to grab this much sand. It's brilliant. You know, I've got the sand. The problem is this is my method of smelting. So I think the very next build that we build in this base is going to be a super smelter. The thing that I really want to do is I want to keep it close to the industrial area that's down here. Now, there is the idea that I could take over the control and say, no, this is going to be the super smelter, which is going to be up here. But as Grandmin the Third says, they are big, they're ugly, and you know, you really don't want that to be in the center of attention, in the center of your base. I think having it inside the walls going around here, which I was told to bury inside the walls. So technically I'm doing it, but technically I'm not. Thankfully, the old fashioned thing of having a Fortune 3 Efficiency 5 pick and a beacon is just two seconds away from getting all the cobblestone I'm going to need for the amount of furnaces that I'm going to need for this place. Like, I think I may have the biggest super smelter in the world. stacks of furnaces in this whole area and that's before we've even used it to mine out all of this to replace this with the amount of glass that we have while mining out all of these furnaces ready for the hoppers to go in i have managed to come across quite a few lot of diamonds 39 diamonds all the blocks that are required to be removed outside of these lovely furnaces are now being removed, which is superb. Each one of these requires at least three hoppers. So there's going to be a lot of hoppers in this place. I'm sorry, server. Well, I needed to go out to go and grab myself some wood for all of the hoppers that were required for this build. And I came up with a fantastic idea for what I'm going to do with the dogs that I found while I was out on my trips. As you can probably tell, I've got two dogs in here, which will be the same as my real life dogs. We've got Bruno and we've got Betsy. But the thing is, I've had plenty of dogs in my life. And this made me seriously, you know, emotional a little bit earlier. Because my plan is I'm basically going to name them after all the dogs that I've had in the past that unfortunately have passed away. So I will always be able to remember them here in Minecraft. How much I have literally just gone, oh, I'm missing my dogs now. I miss all of my dogs. There, there. Thank you, Icy. Thank you. Well, I need to go and grab some gold because I need a lot of power routes. However, something happened. Oh, I've, I came down here because I was mining this gold ore. The problem is, Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Well, I just gave you an ender pearl, so... Thank yeah. you. I'm gonna need yeah. this. Thank you, Icy, for your assistance. Now, it's time to, to test how long this one piece of bamboo plank takes to go around the whole system. Five minutes later. And there it is. Super. The way this super smelter works is by having this hopper here transport all the items into a chest minecart and then that zooms across once it's all full it's quite clever thanks to mumbo jumbo for the video to show me how to do this it was a bit old but it still works in 120.3 before we send it off we just need to check all the hoppers for random items i've now just gone around and emptied every single hopper and furnace to make sure that this should now be as efficient as possible 
That one's about to disappear. This one's about to disappear in about 27 seconds time. And then every single one of these should then light up automatically and we should get tons of glass at the very end of it. Let's go around and have a look at these whole furnaces. There's a couple of ones that I can see I've missed, but so far so good. We've currently got everything being filled in and is currently lighting up majority of the furnaces, which is superb. There are some things that are still burning from other times, which is okay, you know, that's fine. Uh, but things are going so well. It works! It so works! That's great. And all the items from the super smelter is finally coming in. Okay, it's not as fast as I would like it to be, but then again, it's still faster, you know. It's only one furnace per item. Makes life a lot more easier. And I just realized how much fuel this thing still requires. That chest was basically full. Now the very next job that needs to be done is for all of this to be replaced with stained white glass. So we have a full aquarium up here on show and visible. I'm just seeing how big the project is and I'm going that can happen next episode. If you guys are looking forward to it. Smash that like button, hit subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to turn on notifications. Till then, bye bye.